Hey, it's Kim, and I'm back with a new video, a very unexpected video, video I didn't film, to, uh, didn't expect to film, and a video I didn't expect to be making at all because this was an unexpected purchase. Let me explain. <laughs> so VDS released their um, new batch of Touch Me planners, which are the ones that are pre-made. They're not custom made, and not only that, but they added. Um, beige Croco to the lineup as well as Stardust Croco and not only that they also added a new size which is personal wide which is the one that I've recently fallen in love with for my companion planner so after all of those things were added up and the fact that they don't typically restock the touch me lines all that often I think maybe two to three times a year um, at the most I'm really not even sure but still I wanted to try it out. <laughs> I wanted to see how I like their personal wide. They call it the standard wide. How I like that compared to the Jillio that I have. And I got the notification email at like 3 o'clock in the morning that they were in stock. One thing led to another and here we are. We're doing an unboxing. So, this is a true unboxing. I received it yesterday. And I was busy with work and a bunch of other stuff. So I didn't have a chance to open it, um, which is not like me at all. I'm normally very excited about my purchases, um, but I didn't have a chance to open it yesterday. So this morning, I'm like, well, let's just do it. I didn't even set up. I, my lighting is a little weird. I got like the sun streak coming in. I'm hoping that doesn't mess things up, but we'll see. Um, so yeah. I am unboxing the VDS uh, Touch Me. I'm trying to get all the words. VDS Touch Me in standard wide size in the beige Croco. So let's do it. And I was going to lie to myself and say, oh, well, this is your Christmas gift, but I've actually already purchased a Christmas gift for myself. So, yeah. Completely unexpected. So here we are. We got our usual box that it comes in with the VDS logo on the front and gold foiling. Mm. She's cute. Oh, and I will add that I actually purchased it at in haste, you know, early in the morning. And then I realized I forgot to add a fly leaf, so I did email Petra um, within like a couple of hours to add the fly leaf. Unfortunately, she didn't get my email until after this was already set up to be shipped out, so I just said, forget it. it feels really soft. The sniff test. This smells good. I guess I'm a little bit surprised because people talk about how the Croco leathers feel plasticky. I've actually not heard that about this beige croco, but some of the um, croco leathers can feel plasticky, but it doesn't. It feels really soft. Very weird, but you know, not, not weird as in I don't like it, but <laughs> a little different than I expected. It doesn't really feel coated necessarily. I don't know. And, uh, spoiler alert, beige croco is not very beige. It's definitely much more on the white side. I'm going to try and see if the video might need some color correcting. I don't know when I finish it up, but that's what she's looking like. Oh, and it, in this video, I am going to do a comparison to the Giglio Personal Wide as well. Um, if you see my previous video, uh, which came out not too long ago, I do have the Giglio personal wide and burgundy burgundy set up as my companion planner hold on let me see if I can fix that light okay this might be a little bit better <laughs> so we have the sun streak over on that side not here so let's open her up and this is the um, typical touch me layout and you've got the zip pocket over here and it is a gusseted zip pocket which sits up a little bit which I don't necessarily love. I have that in my Stardust Croco. And like I said, I don't love it. I don't hate it. We have a secretarial pocket and then a short pocket here. 
we have a pin loop. This is something I do love about the touch, the touch me line. It comes with two pin loops. I also love that this comes with the black Vanderspec tag. Whenever I've done my customs or ordered customs, I have two others. I do um, specify that I want the black tag. For whatever reason, I'm just not a huge fan of the brown tag. And then it has a secretarial pocket over on this side and six card slots here. Another pin loop and the strap and wait is that a gold popper maybe that's silver doesn't look silver it looks almost um pewter it's not as gold as that but not super silver but i guess that's silver and i did get the 30 millimeter uh kraus rings in gold because in my Gilio i have silver rings so i figured i'd have a set of gold and a set of silver I was trying to get a set of, of black, but that was a whole debacle we won't go into. <laughs> we have the big back pocket, which I'm not a super fan of the big back pocket. I don't mind it. I just don't really use them all that often, but I appreciate them. So this is really pretty. I'm pleased. Oh, so let's line it up. I'm going to put the stuffing back in and I want to see how it compares to the shape and size of the Giglio. Okay, so for the touch me planners um they always come with a rounded corner which i don't mind either the gilios always come with squared corners um some people prefer one over the other i don't really have much of a preference it does look like the vanderspec is slightly taller than the gilio and let's see about width I'm trying not to get all the way into frame with my body it does seem to be slightly wider let me give you a few better close-ups I guess an important thing to note is that this is on a smaller like a 25 millimeter back plate so you can tell the difference this one on the left the Giglio is the back plate for the 30 millimeter ring so it's really wide and this one is for the 25 millimeter but if we line them up, you can kind of see that the Vanderspec's slightly taller. And then, how do I show you? If we put them this way, you can see that the Vanderspec is slightly wider. So that is really cool I'm definitely pleased like I said I wasn't expecting to get another one but I know that I've completely fallen in love with the personal wide size I'm not the type of person that likes to switch planners but they do they do give me two completely different vibes I'm thinking spring summer I'm thinking fall winter over here so you know two completely different vibes I would set them up with different inserts and everything um but a cool thing that I thought to do oh let's do lay flat and see what the difference is i'll try to zoom you in if the camera angle isn't showing closely so laying flat it seems this isn't very helpful because i'm on a bed not a desk but laying flat the vanderspec is a little bit wider than the Giglio right there so what I am going to do I'm actually going to put these inserts into here and kind of see give a comparison of what it looks like you know with the rings full and chunked up and I'll give you an overview of the Giglio when it's full and chunked up and how that looks I added an extra pin loop to this one just one of those elasticized pin loops that you can get from Amazon it doesn't come with two pin holders on its own all right so that's the Giglio and then give me a minute to switch over into the Vanderspec I'm very new to rings so I feel like when I am transferring or taking things in and out it takes me forever <laughs> whereas somebody else could transfer like this whole stack of papers in one very swift movement 
I on the other hand cannot do that for some strange reason not to mention when I punched my holes they're not entirely perfect so I think with these I'm gonna go backwards Oh, and you know what? Maybe I'll put, does that one go on the front? I don't know. Let's see. See how we like it. Uh, all right. And keep in mind that this one does not have a fly leaf. Whereas the Giglio does have a fly leaf, so that takes up more space on the rings as well. It's not bad. I like the black and white. I always like the black and white. When I do... Nope. It's pretty. But we'll leave that one out for now. And let's test some pins. <laughs> I'm trying to set it up completely. This is a stretch, like literally and figuratively. I'm trying to fit this Twisby pin into this pin loop. Twisbys are really thick fountain pens. Oh, it's in. Okay, it's in there. And then my other Pilot uh, Vanishing Point fits. This one's not super thick and it's a smooth barrel so that it seems to fit into pin loops easily all right so I can tell immediately that it seems there's a lot more space on the sides in this one than there was in the Giglio and I'll try to do like a side-by-side -side comparison um, like a picture-in-picture -picture type thing <laughs> to show how close the papers were to the pin loop it actually feels lighter which I find interesting it doesn't feel as thick as the Apoca leather it feels thinner and I would say if you didn't have a big back pocket um, you would probably need it it feels like a much thinner leather so I imagine you would be able to see the rings if you didn't have the big back pocket so that's something to keep in mind if you are customizing anything for yourself in this beige cargo leather Let's open it up. And yeah, I feel like there's more of a distance between these, uh, between the papers and the side of the pin. So that's how we can tell. And actually what I'm going to talk through is the size differences between Giglio and Vandrespec as they list them on the website. So I'll try and put those on the screen and explain, you know, any differences that I'm seeing or why there are the differences between the two. So yeah, but I do love it. It looks really good with the gold rings. I also think it could look really good with silver rings as well, but I do think that silver and gold looks really good in here and it's primarily because this is a white color it really is um, let me see if I can put something true white right next to it to give you a comparison all right so this is some white copy paper and well when these two are next to each other it doesn't look white white <laughs> it does look more on the beige side but I think when we hear the term beige we maybe think something more like this color Something that is um, closer to taupe, not quite taupe, but closer to taupe. But that's not what this is. It definitely is not stark white, but I would say it's in the white family. Maybe closer to ivory, but with some slightly grayish undertones. But I do find that comparing colors or explaining color comparisons is very personal because <laughs> some people don't get it so this is the stardust croco next to the beige croco and this is my monster of a cover um that i had made for my happy planner well not happy planner but my disbound system 
half letter discount system so this is a comparison of the two colors next to each other you can see how this one is a lot warmer in tone also this one um, is a lot pinker I'm not sure how it's coming across on the screen but it's definitely more in the taupey kind of color family and next to each other I do feel like this one looks like it pulls more pink but in reality it doesn't look that way to me at least so this is definitely closer to white if you're in the market for the beige croco so all right there you have it that is my unboxing uh, first impressions and comparison of the new VDS standard in the wide size. Um, I would say it doesn't look too square. I feel like that is often a concern for people who get a standard widened. They think it looks a bit too square. Maybe it's the rounder corners that does that or that, you know, takes away from the squared look but I am curious to see how this compares to people who have had custom personal wide planners made from VDS. I do know off the top of my head SM Plans has customs made and her formula, formula so to speak, is 1.8 centimeters wider than the regular standard whereas I feel VDS recommends 2.2 centimeters um, of added width on both sides of the planner but that seems to look a little too wide but I want to see how that compares to this because they are known to make their touch me planners in slightly larger dimensions than some of the custom ones so there you have it if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll get right back to you and in full disclosure, I'm going to put all of these inserts right back into my Julio because we are still in the winter season. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.